Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We are backstage at Reading and Leeds Festival 2023. Games we play on the lineup. Emin joins me now. How are you, man? Hi, I'm good. I'm nervous because this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Oh, nice. But um, I'm excited and thankful. Yeah, I'll yeah. bet. How was Reading treating you yesterday, man? Reading was cool. At first, it was freezing. Right, okay. Yeah, and um, I thought it was going to be very hot in the UK, and I didn't pack any clothes, so it was a little hard. But besides that, it was cool. I um, This is like my first really big festival. Right, okay, cool. And I've, I I don't know if it's just this festival or festivals in general, but the people that come here, like, want to dance, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think people go hard, particularly at UK festivals, I think you'll find moving forward. Like, people go hard for this stuff, man. Yeah, and, like, I've never... I mean, I, I opened for All Time Low in the UK earlier this year, but besides that, I've never really done anything with my band here. And, right. like, there were passionate kids and fans singing and i was like holy shit like this is crazy yeah it's yeah. great to see that kind of building man for sure no it's really really nice and you're used to the bigger stages now because i mean you've ju literally just got back from the u.s a couple of dates on that absolutely outrageous looking fallout boy tour it was massive i mean that stadiums that's yeah. wild how was that whole experience for you it was cr i've never been on a tour like that yeah. um it was so big and like a lot of I don't know. There's there's just seats. I've never played a show with seats before. Right. So like I have to work to actively get people out yeah. of the seats. Um, it was really cool. And like since I'm signed to Pete's label, like I guess a lot of Fall Out Boy fans knew my songs, yeah. which was really cool. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Was he given much in the way of advice? I suppose because obviously, yeah, you guys work together very very closely at this yeah. point. I'm sure he was able to kind of give you a little bit of the down oh, yeah. low on how it's going to work at a show like that. I would text him after every set, and we'd have a little recap. Oh, every nice. Time. Yeah. That's really nice yeah. way of doing it, man. Yeah. No, I'm glad those fans have been really really welcoming. And speaking of that as well, obviously some shows out um, with our boy Youngblood as well out in yes. the states. That immediately when that was announced, I was like, yeah, that's a perfect pairing. I totally can see like your fans getting on board with that and vice yep. versa right i look up to that guy so much That's and cool. like a year and a half ago i was with my friend i was like dude one day i'm gonna tour with young blood and then i oh, got wow. the call i was like oh my god oh, um he's just like in my opinion he's one of the best performers right now yeah. um and i have like watched so many young blood videos and just tried to like replicate what he does wow. you know um yeah, it was really amazing. Yeah, great experience. Nice to be able to, like I say, play to a new set of fans, but one that I think will really get yeah. what you're digging as well. You know, yeah. It makes a lot of sense for sure. Um, let's get into what you've been working on, man. So I guess Too Young was the most recent single, Big yes. Cut there. And I know you were referring to it as like kind of the most important song you've done so far. Tell me why. Expand on that a little bit. Okay, so if you've heard of games we play, like before that song, it was really just like a tongue-in-cheek, very fun thing. And like... I've never, I've always just tried to make people happy and dance with my music and like this song, it's just very honest and it talks about like divorce mm -hmm. and like it's, I don't know, I've just never been that honest about something but yeah. it's cool. At first, it's like, to me, it's the most important song I've written, you know, the most personal and honest and the way I feel but but it's just like an opening ground for the rest of the songs that are going to come out. Right. Like I released that song, All My Untalented Friends, which is which was my first song back but then too young and all the songs moving forward is like a biography about right. my life yeah. yeah yeah well i mean hence the title of the record life's going great i suppose is it almost like it sounds like you're almost working on a, a kind of looser concept album in a way is that is that kind of what we're talking about is it is it kind of the life story i guess a little bit in that it, it i guess it is a concept album but a concept that happened right sure you know? sure right <laughs> a real concept yeah, yeah like yeah. the whole thing yeah. and life's going great is just like to be ironic like mm. this year has been the craziest most amazing and also like hardest year yet oh, gotcha. so i just like have not been previously like this honest throughout my songs and like this is like if you listen to the whole record you're gonna know like what i'm about you yeah. know yeah that's interesting man i mean i guess what have been the kind of key learning points i suppose i mean i'm sure there'll be too many to mention but like yeah. it has been you know it's an overused phrase but a bit of a whirlwind for you man like you hit yeah. the ground running really fast you've yep. done a lot of cool stuff a lot of big tours like we keep saying and yeah. everything like are there any mo any kind of pinch yourself moments in particular or any kind of key things you've kind of learned within this last year i suppose as we approach the album well, um kind of and like i don't even know if this applies to music but just like a lot of stuff in my life went down this year right. and like there are so many things that i didn't want to show up to even though it was like my dreams happening you know like it kind of felt like the personal stuff was just like outweighing my music stuff right. and then my mom the entire time was like emin just show up the next day right. you know and she's like it doesn't matter if this this is happening like you've waited so long for this and like no matter how you're feeling just go play the show mm. you know and like 
I feel like that has strengthened me a lot as That's a person. Great. And like, yeah, I don't know. Just even with this festival, like I'm still going through it. I was like, mom, I, I, can't, I can't go. And she was just like, just go do it and be positive and it'll be great. Yeah. And like, I don't know, she's helping me out a lot right now. Oh, that's so sweet, man. That's so yeah. nice. And, and she's white. Very, very, very yeah. wise. You know, you'll look back on these moments and go, yeah, thank God I did that. I'm really yeah. glad I did it. You know, it yeah. always makes a lot of sense. Um, in terms of the record as a whole, then, who have you kind of been working with? I know you do like, you know, like who you kind of been co writing with? Is okay. anyone and kind of production wise and stuff? So, like, it's common, especially in like Los Angeles, to like write with a bunch of co writers, yeah. right? And like, I've gotten some really good songs doing that, but since this record is so personal to me, I kind of made the choice to just go write it with my friends okay, great. that know about my life. Yeah. So if you look on Spotify, like the people who wrote it, it's the same three people the whole time. Um, but yeah, their names are mainly, it's it's two people. It's Dane and Rector and uh, John Harvey, who's also an artist. Um, but yeah, and then I came to the UK and I did it with, I, I did my album with this guy, Larry Hibbett who's in an emo band from a long time ago called 100 Reasons. And I don't know, I just, on that UK tour, um, I just heard a lot of British music and it's just like kind of different than American music mm-hmm. in like the style it's produced and sonically. And I was like, I think I want to do this. That's awesome. So I've been here so much this year. Yeah, uh, and getting used to the world of hundred reasons. I mean, they they I mean they just literally did a comeback tour like it was earlier this year. I yeah, think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely wild. Nice. No, people have been waiting for that one for a long time. Yeah, real kind of heritage band there for sure. So we got the album coming. Mm-hmm. How far ahead? I, I mean, it sounds so ridiculous to ask mm. these kind of questions, but I know that you are you are a bit of a planner. I can I've seen that in terms of like your social rollouts and all that. It's how it kind of started, right? Mm. The whole yep. TikTok thing and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So how far ahead are you kind of looking already? Even even beyond when the record's coming out in a couple months. So. Right now, I have this U.S. tour planned, right? right? And I don't know. I haven't put songs out like this, like I've said. So this is like the first time I have like not really planned. And I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. Okay, cool. You know, like these are the like my my last songs on the, the record Get a Job are just like fun songs. But these are songs that people can get like attached to and relate to. So like I'm just going to put them out and like make videos about them on the Internet. But like just see what comes from that you know yeah and just try to headline and like really take life's going great hopefully next year around the world great to whatever capacity i can but just i want everybody to hear those songs because it's a record i'm really proud of that's awesome and that's a great attitude to have and speaking of big tour dates as well we've got to mention you are on the lineup of the most ridiculous festival in the world which is when we were young i mean i was lucky enough to be there last year and it is it is wild i will we'll have to see okay um it's it's absolutely wild but you must be so ex- I mean, especially with another insane lineup. Yeah. There. yeah, yeah, and like this year, I'm I'm so lucky that I got to play this year because like, basically, my dad introduced me to this style of music growing awesome. up, and this year has a lot of older bands. Yeah, um, and also my favorite band of all time, which I have not seen with Tom DeLonge. Blink 182 oh, is headlining. Man. That's it's gonna be an exciting, exciting moment for a lot of people. That one, yeah. It's gonna be a big day. I like, I love festivals. I don't like standing for that long, but that one, I'm gonna push through the pain of my feet. Yeah, and just like absolutely, yeah. Blink and Green Day back to back is pretty yeah. unbeatable. <laughs> I think that's gonna be pretty spectacular. That hasn't right happened there. in a very long time. Pop disaster tour, probably. What's yeah. that? Oh one, oh two, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Let me know in the comments. I think it's about then. It's something like that. Yeah, it's gonna be absolutely wild. Really, really excited about it. Um, Emmett, it's always really nice to chat, man. Congrats on everything. And best of luck with the album. I'm sure we will catch up again soon. But yeah, yeah have a great yeah. show today and everything. No? Thank you. Good to see you. All right, games Thank we play, you. everybody. Yeah.